Today we are looking at the life of a man who left his home country, England, in 1853 as a 21-year-old and headed to the remote Far East, to China. He spent 51 years in China and brought Christianity to inland China. His name was Hudson Taylor. The China Inland Mission, or CIM, that he founded, brought over 800 missionaries to China. They established 125 schools for Chinese children and introduced a Christian presence in all 18 provinces. Hudson Taylor himself was able to preach in several Chinese languages and helped prepare an edition of the New Testament written in the Ningpo language. It is estimated that there are around 70 million Christians in China today who owe their Christian religion to Hudson Taylor. Hudson Taylor was born in 1832. His parents were James and Amelia Taylor, a devout Methodist couple who lived in Barnsley. As a teenager, Hudson experienced a spiritual birth. He decided to go to China, and at 20 he began studying medicine. He also studied Mandarin and immersed himself in Bible study and prayer. He arrived in Shanghai in 1854 and made a radical decision. He decided to dress in Chinese clothes and grow a pigtail, as Chinese men did. Within months of arriving, and with the Chinese language still a challenge, Taylor set off for the interior with Joseph Edkins and started doing medical missionary work. He was just 22 years old. Three years later... The missionary society which had sponsored Taylor could no longer pay its missionaries. So Taylor resigned and became an independent missionary, trusting God to meet his needs. The same year he married Maria Dyer, the daughter of missionaries stationed in China. He continued to pour himself into his work, and his small church in Ningpo grew to 21 members. But by 1861... At the age of 29, he became seriously ill and was forced to return to England to recover. In England, Taylor continued translating the Bible into Chinese, a work he had begun in China. He was helped by a young Chinese Christian, Wang Lai Jun. He also studied to add midwifery to his medical knowledge and recruited more missionaries. He became convinced that a special organisation was needed to evangelise the interior of China. So he founded a new mission, the China Inland Mission, or CIM. The China Inland Mission had a number of distinctive features. Its missionaries had no guaranteed salaries, nor could they appeal for funds. They were to trust God to supply their needs. They were to adopt Chinese dress and move into China's interior, spreading the Christian gospel. With his wife, four children and 16 young missionaries, Taylor sailed from London in 1866 and joined five others already in China working under his direction. Taylor made enormous demands upon himself, seeing more than 200 patients daily. He also placed high demands on the other CIM missionaries. In 1876, CIM had 52 missionaries working in China. One man inspired by Taylor was the cricketer C.T. Studd and seven other Cambridge University students, known as the Cambridge Seven, who all went to China as missionaries. Taylor instituted another radical policy. He sent unmarried women into the interior of China. In 1881, he asked God for another 70 missionaries, and by the end of 1884 had recruited 76. In late 1886, Taylor prayed for another 100 within a year, and a year later, he announced 102 candidates had been accepted for service. His wife Maria died at the age of 33, and four of their eight children died before they reached the age of 10. He later married Jenny Falding, a CIM missionary. Under his leadership, the CIM was non-denominational in practice and accepted members from all Protestant groups, including individuals from the working class, 
single women and multinational recruits. The China Inland Mission campaigned against the opium trade. This alone made Taylor one of the most significant Europeans to visit China in the 19th century. In 1900, due to health issues, Taylor went to live in Switzerland with his wife. In 1902, he formally resigned from the CIM. His wife, Jenny, died in 1904. In 1905, Taylor returned to China for the 11th and final time. There, at 73 years of age, he died suddenly and was buried next to his first wife, Maria, in Xinjiang. Under the influence of Hudson Taylor's strong work ethic and absolute trust in God, the CIM prospered. He inspired many to forsake the comforts of the West to bring the Christian message to the interior of China. Though mission work in China was interrupted by the communist takeover in 1949, the CIM continues to this day under the name Overseas Missionary Fellowship. Many Chinese Christians consider Hudson Taylor to be a major influence on their lives and faith. Many visit Barnsley, the town in England where he was brought up. Hudson Taylor was a Christian man who had a huge impact on China. Christian.